Okay, what is a compound sentence? Okay, a compound compound sentence is a sentence with two two or more main clauses. So main or independent clauses. So we take two clauses and we stick them together with a conjunction, which is a word that glues together parts of uh, groups of words. So let's look at our example. Uh, we still have the, my friend's giving his sister a graduation party. Good. That's a main clause. It could stand alone as a sentence. So we have one main clause. Okay. But now we have this other one. He is buying her a cheap car. Okay. That also could stand alone as a sentence. So that is another main clause. And we tack the two together with an or, which means he is either going to throw his, give his sister a graduation party, or he is buying her a cheap car. Now, if my friend was richer, had more money, then he might do both. My friend is giving his sister a graduation party and he is buying her a cheap car. Still a compound sentence. Each of these clauses could stand alone, but now we have two or more. Okay, and compound sentences don't have to be long. Uh, let's write a real short one here. Okay, we'll go back to our dogs and cats. Dogs run, but this is a contrasting conjunction. Cats sleep. Period. Okay, but dogs oh, dogs. Okay. Now we're there. Okay. Dogs run is a main clause. It's so short I'm just going to abbreviate it. And cats sleep could also be its own sentence. It's also a main clause. Okay. So we have two main clauses with the contrasting conjunction. Uh, and so that is in fact a compound sentence. Now the one we said here grammatically it's any it's a sentence with two or more main clauses. We've got two here and we've got two here. You need to be careful uh, and, and if you try and put more than three. Three is kind of the practical limit. If you put together more than three main clauses, especially if you keep using and, um, you'll get something called a run-on sentence, which is not grammatically incorrect, but it tends to be boring. It tends to be boring to read or tends to be boring to listen to. So it's kind of frowned upon. We, we like to keep people interested in what we're writing. So again, that's not a hard and fast, you know, the, the, the more than three is not a hard and fast rule. Uh, but if you do do more than three, you need to be very careful how you do it and give a thought about breaking it up into either smaller compound sentences or even into simple sentences. So just a friendly warning. And I will talk to you later.